Good morning, movers. Welcome back to Move Daily Fitness. I'm Tracy Steen. All right, this workout, we're focusing all on your lower body. We're gonna make this knee friendly. So no squats or lunges today. We're gonna do quite a bit of it on the ground though to activate those quads, hamstrings, glutes. Grab a variety of dumbbells for the workout today. That's all you'll need. And we'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. Your format for the workout will be 40 seconds of work, 15 seconds to rest, and we'll repeat everything for two rounds. If you're looking for an upper body workout for tomorrow, I would recommend that one. Click or tap the card at the top of the screen and take a look. All right, but let's do this workout and move daily. All right, I'm hitting strength on my watch and let's warm things up. We'll start with a little hip opener right here. Good, holding on to something. Your stationary leg is soft. We're gonna do some glute kicks just to the back, 15 aside. Five more. Switch legs and kick. Flex that foot so it doesn't hit the ground. Five more here. Very good. Up to the tiptoes. You can swing your arms. We're just warming up that Achilles heel and your calves a bit here. Five more. Reach to those tiptoes. And take it a little wider. Opposite hand to toe right here. Here. And we'll reach across and tap. Up and over and reach. Let's step and push right here for 12. And overhead reach for 12. A little one, two, three elbow to knee. Three more here. Just trying to increase blood flow slightly. Very good, and let's go into some heel digs. We're gonna sweep and alternate sides. And one more each side. Good, holding on to something again. Bring that leg up to 90 degrees, open door, back and down, up, open. We're gonna do five per leg here. Up and open. Two more on this side. Last one here, up, open, in, and switch your side. Feel that little burn just holding that isometric contraction, don't we? Just holding the body weight on one leg even. Good, two more here. And there we go, very good. All right, are you ready to move daily? Let's get started. Okay, we are gonna start with a abduction. 
So holding on to something in the back of a chair or your wall, we're gonna lift it out to the side. I'll call half, all right, then we'll switch legs. Stationary knee is soft. So we extend out to the side. Good. Just working those muscles in the glutes a bit, glute medius, and around this area on the outside of our thigh. And of course, that stationary leg holding up our body weight. It's higher. One more here. Switch your side. And we lift, abduct. Good. I'm gonna grab just a light weight. You can do this without weights, but we're going to do a double high knee each side, working the hip flexor, a little bit of quad. All right, to each side with or without a weight. Here we go. And we're one, two, and switch. to a single dumbbell deadlift. So you can go super light, wide stance on the legs. We're gonna hinge forward at the waist with a nice flat back, slight pause, and then drive and squeeze. So you're slow, two, three, and stand. Again, you can do this with no weight, okay? We're just trying to lengthen through the hamstrings. Lengthen, lengthen, stand and squeeze. Reach, hips, back. No rounded shoulders. Super flat back. Last one here. And back to the top. All right. Standing abduction. Now you know how everything feels. You can lighten the weight or make it more challenging this round. Knee is soft and we lift, I'll call half. Last one here and switch. Grabbing a light weight for my double high knee. Again, a little bit of quad, hip flexor. Really important to have nice strong hip flexors here. Double here, one, two, and switch. Holding that little bit heavier weight for my deadlift. I'll hold this 10 again. Wide stance, and we reach the hips back. So we're slow, two, three, and stand.
We're gonna make our way down to the ground for this next circuit. So down you get, we're gonna lie on one side. All right, prop yourself up on your hands. Straight leg lift, toes on the ground, heel is up, and we lift right here. All right, we point the toe down, have the heel up. In order to target that glute med, the uh, muscle that's sort of on top of the big glute muscle on your bottom. Okay, We're just lifting. Of course, a nice abduction for a little bit of focus on the outside of the leg as well. Stay with me, full 40 on each side. Okay, you can break if you need. This is a, this is a burner for sure. Remember, toe is down, heel is up. All right, give that leg a hug right there. That's fire. Switching sides. All right, prop yourself up. Toe down, heel up, and we lift. Give that leg a hug, that is fire. Stay on your back. We're gonna go into a frog glute thrust. So feet are together, knees are open, and bring your feet nice and close to your bottom. We're gonna come up and squeeze the glutes and down, but nice rapid fire. So you're up, down, up, good. Now you might slide just because of your mat. Just adjust your feet and try to keep them close to your bottom. Up and squeeze, but don't arch your back at the top. seated, nice and tall. We're gonna hold one knee in. As you're in the seated position, we're gonna lift. Again, nice quad and hip flexor. I'll call half and we'll switch halfway. Sit tall and we lift and lift. Last one here, and switch your side and left. All right, just a nice stretch. One more round of that, and we'll go back to our side leg lift. Toe is down, heel up, 40 seconds per side, and we lift here. Stay with me on this side. that leg a hug there. Nice little stretch. Switching sides. Toe down and we lift and pulse up. Good.
give that leg a hug on your back for that frog glute thrust. Feet together, knees are open. And rapid fire here again, squeezing your glutes at the top. And we're up. seconds. Very good. Come to seated. We'll hit that straight leg lift. 20 seconds per side. Then a little water break and we're back up to standing. All right. Nice and tall. Much leg first. Here we go. You're lifting up. Stay tall in your upper back here. <clears throat> Three, two, one, and switch. Ah, oh, feels good to switch. <laughs> it's like fire, fire, fire. That's good. We're targeting some smaller muscles that sometimes we avoid when we're doing big things like squats and lunges. So this is excellent. Even if your knees are okay to do those things, this is important as well. Very good. All right, stretch that out for a few seconds here. Take a water break and join me up in that standing position. All right, we're gonna do a wide. Center, cross body high knee, then switch sides. All right, for more of a challenge, you can keep your hands up above your head right here. Otherwise, here we go. So wide, straight, diagonal, and switch. Out, up, cross. to some calf raises here. A whole 10 pound dumbbells. You can go lighter. You can do this without anything as well. We're coming right up to this tiptoes and right down, shoulders back, knees are soft. And let's lift it up and down, up and down. You can even pause at the top in that full flexed position and then drop, good. Also, hoist the weights up here, hold them at your shoulders. That's fine too. All right, moving to that single leg deadlift or a kickstand deadlift. You're gonna plant one toe here. This knee is soft. We're gonna hinge slow and stand. I'll call halfway. So you're slow, two, three, and stand. Slightly different from the deadlift that we started with because now the majority of your tension is on that straight leg, okay? The kickstand is just supporting your body weight. Just use that as a guide. Last one there. Take a step forward, switch hands, and hinge, two, three, and stand, good. Reach your hips back, back and stand. Last one here. All right, let's pop to the top again with our three high knees. Again, with the wide and straight 
cross body, alternating sides, here we go, and you're wide, two, three, and cross, out, straight, there we go. All right, I'm grabbing that other, those tens for my calf raises here. Right up to those tiptoes. This is nice done from the edge of a step as well, but this is good here. All right, up and low. setting one of those down and finishing off with that kickstand. All right, tiptoe, we're hinging, reaching the hips back. Let that arm hang long. I'll call half and then we'll switch. Slow, two, three and drive. This side and switch hands and feet and we hinge. Set that down. We're taking it down to the ground for your clamshell. So on all fours, out to the side. I'll call halfway, then we'll switch legs. Nice flat back, core engaged. And we lift and lift. Nice rapid fire here. Switch legs. Let's take it to the side. Line here, We're sitting down. On the elbow, you're gonna do straight leg lift right here. That's a modified version. If you want to kick it up, you can come up to your hand. All right, here we go, and we'll lift. So try to keep the hand stable, stationary, and lift the leg to the hand. All right, I'll call halfway and we'll switch sides. Foot is flexed and flat. Working that inner thigh in three, two, one, and switch. And you're here. Good, now we're back to that glute thrust. Uh, you can grab a weight if you'd like. I think I'll hold a 15. This time feet are shoulder width apart. And we're up and down, squeezing glutes at the top with a pause. So you're up, pause, and down. Up, pause, and down.
Let's go for round two. Back to your fire hydrant. Again, I'll call half. Nice flat back. Out to the side. And we lift right here. You're up and up. Three, two, one, switch legs. Okay, inner thigh leg lift. Flexed foot, thinking about that inner thigh, doing an adduction. All right, here we go, and we lift to the hand, good. Three, two, one, and switch. Three, two, and one. All right, grab your weight on your back. That glute thrust. Pause or pulse at the top. Again, feet are shoulder width apart, knees equal distance. And we press up, one, 1,000 down. Up, press to 1,000 down. All right, let's stand up. We'll finish off with a couple of nice fluid leg exercises here. Kick the heart rate up a little bit as well, starting with a butt kick right there. Let's work. Nice hamstring exercise here as well, but we're gonna kick the heart rate up. Let's go. All right, two front kicks, two back kicks. All right, great for hips, a little inner thigh as well. Nice and tall, stick your chest out. You're here, here, back for one, two. Front and back. All right, that third exercise, one knee, one straight leg kick, alternating sides. Again, a little quad, a little hip flexor, a little cardio. Let's work your here. One, and punch, switch, and punch. You 
you can only kick low, you're here and that's fine. All right, one more of each. Quick sip if you need. Let's finish strong. With your butt kick, we're gonna go single, single, double this time. Here we go. So single, single, now double on this side. Single, single, double on this side. One, two, double. One, two, and double. Let's go. Two front kicks, two back. I want you to stay tall, working those legs. Here we go, and one, two, back, one, two. I'm gonna kick it up on my last exercise. I'm gonna hold two pound dumbbells. You can do this if you'd like, you don't have to. Elbow to knee, straight leg kick with that punch. All right, finish strong, folks. So you're here and punch, here and punch. Halfway. In three, two, one and done. Give move daily in your lower body. No squats, no lunges. Legs feel it. All those little exercises add up. Thanks for joining, enjoy for a stretch if you can. Let's move to a stretch on the ground today. I want you to lie down on your back, one knee is bent, foot on the ground, other leg is straight. Grab that hamstring, draw the leg toward you. Nice soft knee there, that's good. Very good. Excellent work everyone. Yeah, not everyone has knees that really enjoy high impact or squats, lunges. It's a lot of action on the knee. And if you've had an injury, switch sides uh, or something like that, it can exacerbate it and make it just feel worse. And we don't want that, but we want to strengthen the muscles around the knees to help rehab them and to make the legs strong, right? Increasing strength, increasing lean muscle, those are crucial things as we age. It's gonna support our longevity targets, support our posture, right? Arms up to the side, knees fall to the side, and especially just support our um, ability to catch ourselves if we fall. And, you know, I mean, all the stats on people falling and breaking a femur or a hip, is just so great as the bones start to deteriorate as we age, right? Osteopenia, osteoporosis, that's onset often with people after the age of 50. And if you have a family history, it might even be greater for you. 
And then sarcopenia is the loss of lean muscle as you age. So after the age of 40, it is dropping. And if you're not doing something to actively activate those muscles for growth, which means resistance training, you've got to put resistance on the muscle, muscle and push the system. If you're not doing that, you're losing it, right? So we don't want that. Uh, let's roll to our side and a little quad stretch here. Grab that shoe, stretch. So we're starting this 30 solid challenge rate uh, this week and so many of the women in it, I love this, because so many of their goals or targets are to be strong, fit, healthy as they age. It's not like, oh, I need to lose 50 pounds so I can fit in my skinny jeans. Like that might be some of our targets and that's completely fine. But we also see the importance and necessity of working on our health, optimizing our health and really paying attention to the fact that if we don't use it, we will lose it. So I love that intention. Uh, and that is a measurable progress. Like you can measure that progress forward, right? You feel stronger. You can measure how much weight you're moving in a workout. You can measure your recovery time in a workout. Uh, come to seated here. You can measure, um, you know, even, even how sore you are post-workout. When we first start out, you might be really sore. You might be like, oh, which is why you always want to start super light. Lift as light as you can because the goal is to show up again tomorrow. That's the dripping water on the stone that hollows it out. Not through force, but through persistence. And if you can't show up tomorrow, you've lost a day and then you lose momentum sometimes and we lose motivation sometimes. So it really is important that we show up again tomorrow, which means today, maybe I set the bar slightly lower for myself so that I can get it in with 90 to hundred percent accuracy. I really believe that's an important step for all of us to make because what we want to do is build self-efficacy. You need to build the belief that change is possible. And that is going to create great air adherence to exercise, to your nutrition. If you have this self-confidence and belief, and if you've picked something that's too hard or done something that's too challenging, uh, sometimes that can cause us to go, well, I, I don't want, that's too hard. I like it. I'm not showing up again tomorrow. Um, and then that's not the goal. Then we haven't reached the target. So be sure to start light, start slow, work your way up, right? And that will help build that self-belief that you are capable of change no matter what your age right? So that is the target. That's the goal. Reach forward. If you can grab your shoes and just draw them toward you, stretching that calf out a little bit here. Nice work, folks. I enjoyed that. I hope you did as well. Now go move daily in your wellness and nutrition. Have some protein to rebuild those muscles that we've just given microscopic tears to, right? And uh, we'll see you in the next workout.